The Predator franchise, together with the Alien franchise, has been one of the most long-running franchises to this date, two of which we have grown up with. And today, we got the news about yet another movie from the Predator franchise coming to the big screens, the fifth installment, but with a little bit of a twist. So sit back and enjoy as we take a first look into the movie and tell you everything we know so far. Enjoy! Predator 5 Setting Before we go into detail about the release date, the cast, and the plot of the movie, we should mention where this movie is set in the timeline of the franchise. The fifth installment of the franchise will explore the alien species first to visit Earth. The movie has got a name even through a few turbulences. Developed by Dan Trattenberg in 2019, the title was Skull, a movie said to be set during the Civil War and would follow a Comanche woman who goes against gender norms and traditions to become a warrior, a thing never seen before. In 2020, however, Skull was revealed to be the next film in the Predator franchise, with Amber Midthunter cast in the lead role. The history of the Predator franchise has been an interesting one. The original first movie released in 1987, which saw Arnold Schwarzenegger in the lead role, a movie which quickly became a box office hit that led to the 1991 sequel, Predator 2. What the hell are you? after which a 13-year gap happened, with the next iteration coming in 2004, Alien vs. Predator, and the one following in 2007, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. The 2018's The Predator by Shane Black was supposed to be a big-budget revival of the brand, but it fizzled out at the box office. Thus, the producers had to find a way to make The Predator click with the modern audience, and it seems like they have found a new, interesting angle one that will take audiences back to the beginning, where it all started. In an interview with Collider, producers John Davis and John Fox teased what is to come in the future for the franchise, with Fox comparing the movie more in tone with The Revenant, with Davis elaborating that this movie will follow the Predator's first journey to Earth. However, the period is still unknown. The first Predator encounter on Earth raises a lot of questions on where the movie fits in the timeline when compared with the others. Alien vs Predator established that the Predators had contact with the Earth and that they were worshipped as gods by cultures like the Egyptians, Mayans, and Khmer Empire. However, the canon timeline has been ignored in both Prometheus and the Predator, so it is safe to say that they exist in their separate universe. Predator 2 featured the creature giving Danny Glover's character a flintlock pistol dated 1715. suggesting predators have had contact with humans as far back as the early 18th century. All in all, when we look at the upcoming movie from the Predator franchise, it seems like the fifth iteration of the franchise will take a similar approach as what Prometheus did for the Alien series. If Skull is a success, it could lead to future Predator movies being more period pieces that explore various human encounters with the Predator. After this first one, we are getting sooner than you might expect. For example, the Predator could face off against pirates, 30s mob bosses, and many other points in human history, all of which have happened after the year when the Predator set foot on Earth, eventually keeping the franchise going further than this fifth installment. Release Date and Trailer One of the most exciting things we got about Predator 5 is the official title given to all of us by Dan Trattenberg with the name of the movie being simply Skull. As of now, the movie does not have an official release date assigned, thus we cannot say for sure as to when the movie will arrive. However, some educated guesses point out that we could see the movie as early as sometime in 2022. This might seem a little bit crazy, but it makes sense as reporters are showing that the movie is close to wrapping up with principal photography. This means that fans of the Predator franchise don't have too long before they see more of the Rautra spine-ripping and trophy-collecting species. We are also sad to announce that not even a trailer or a teaser of sorts is available, which is understandable given where the movie's production is right now. But we should get footage of some sort, possibly in the early months of 2022 so keep an eye out for any new confirmations and releases from the franchise. Cast Past installments of the franchise featured a lot of famous protagonists played by the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Adrian Brody, and Danny Glover. And with every new iteration coming from the franchise, one of the frequently asked questions are whether previous characters will return. 
or if the stars of old will come back to do a cameo or two. However, knowing the setting of the movie, being a prequel to all the previous movies in the franchise, it is highly unlikely that any former star of the franchise will be making a comeback. In other words, fans should not expect to see Boyd Holbrook or Olivia Munn show up in the upcoming movie. We do know, however, that at least one new actor who has allegedly been cast in the film, and he is Legion star Amber Midthunder, who will be facing off against the Predator, according to Cinema Blend. The knowledge of the movie being set in the Americas, even before European colonization, and the official addition of the native New Mexican actress seems to confirm the early AVP Galaxy's reports of expecting to hear more indigenous names added to the cast in the future. Plot Slowly but surely, we got to the good stuff. In his tweet announcing that he is directing the Predator 5, aka Skull, Dan Trattenberg referenced the fact that he had been keeping the movie in secret. I thought this script was incredibly well written, interesting play on the hierarchy of knowledge and when we learn the things that we learn. Ian had a plan for how the project would be revealed that didn't involve an announcement in Deadline, and fans were quick to begin putting the pieces of Dan's plan together. In 2019, it was reported that Dan was working on a project titled Skulls, with a story, as we said before, following a Comanche woman who goes against her gender norms and traditions and wants to become a warrior. This announcement alone didn't raise any eyebrows, but when the public got the confirmation that Dan is attached to the Predator 5 movie, Many sites speculated that Skulls was likely just a code name for the fifth installment of the Predator franchise. Now, considering how all the other movies have taken place in modern settings, it is easy to see how, if marketed correctly, audiences wouldn't immediately guess a movie about an indigenous woman set in the past was the latest entry in the franchise. Now, before we end today's video, a disclaimer of sorts. To this day, the Skulls Predator 5 connection is not officially confirmed by Dan. But the fact that both movies are being made for the same studio and have the same screenwriter attack makes this theory very likely. However, with every new detail in the future, we will be closer and closer to the confirmation of these rumors being true. All of which makes for one of the most intriguing installments of the franchise's history. Humans are dealing with the warrior class of the Predators, those brave enough to leave their stealth ships and put boots on the ground to collect human trophies for sport, honor, or some kind of political power. The scariest thing about the Predators is not their looks, but rather their origin, as we still don't know much about them. Thus, this installment might look into that segment too. Tell more about them and how they came to the point of where they are now hunters, and sometimes even conquerors too. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, which iteration from the franchise has been your favorite so far? And what element from the movies has been the most captivating one for you? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.